Um, so let's talk then about the people who are helping secure the Goracle network, the Gora token. How does all that play a role? And and really, what are you guys looking for? You know, obviously, a lot of our audience is people in the Algorand ecosystem. They're excited about one click nodes. They're excited about you know being a you know having a deeper you know I guess connection or part in the Algorand ecosystem growing. How can someone jump into the Goracle you know Gora gang as you guys are hashtagging it Gora to, gang. Really, he- to yeah. really help it grow and hey. help make yeah. your all's uh, project more decentralized, faster, more secure, and all those things. And how are they rewarded for it? Absolutely. So there is the node network is kind of the backbone, right? Uh, and it's similar to the, how the Algorand nodes work. Uh, and those node networks are in charge of running the tasks. So fetching data is a type of a task. Uh, and so, you know, you could run a node. And, and right now, for the first few months, there is going to be a minimum stake just to kind of make sure that uh, we're able to push out updates a lot faster. I think there's going to be a lot of updates in that first two months. In testnet, we left it completely open and permissionless to anybody with even one token. Um, and what we saw was when you had 10,000 people running the node, getting an update across everybody was really tricky. So what we did was we implemented a 10,000 Gora minimum, which at current market rate is about $5,000. Um, however, there's another option if you want to still participate, which is delegated staking. And so we have a lot of these institutional node operators who are running uh, a validator. And you could go into our portal and if you have as little as one Gora, you could delegate it to them and they will run consensus for you. And usually they keep 5 to 10% of profits and then return it back. And so uh, what, what that does is it returns. So in the first year, we're guaranteeing about 17% uh, fees back to whatever people stakes are. Um, so that's kind of how we incentivize that first year. And then the goal is to wean off the rewards. So in, in, you know, in that, we don't really have rewards for like specific cards. It's just anybody who wants to run the node. Um, and so the first six months is 20%. The next six months is 15%. The next six months is 10 The next six months is 5%. Uh, but in time, the, the gas fees from the customers who are calling the data fees will also go to pay. So I'll give you an example. Let's say there's a sports app. They're paying in USDC or whatever that those fees will go to the node runners and they'll be split proportionally amongst us. So we kind of looked at how many customers do we really need to be profitable over time? And I think that number was 10. So once you hit 10 and beyond, I'm starting to get profitable. When you look at Chainlink, by the way, when you talk about six, seven billion dollars of values, total value secured, that's coming from like the top 20 apps, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they're very top heavy. And so once you have like if we have one or two unicorns building on Oracle, um, that's hey, you know, that alone is, is more than enough. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so that was validators. That reminds me, um, I was reading your white paper too. I don't want to jump too ahead, but validators, I seen something with y'all going cross chain. And I know uh, like a Cosmos, uh, Ethereum, they have the validator system, but Algorand has their pure proof of stake. Um, Can you speak on just like why y'all choosing a validator type system a little bit more or dive in deeper and not more like Algorand? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we, we're not, we're not an application on Algorand. Like we do have an interface and we do have smart contracts on Algorand. We're actually a network, our own network, right? With our own nodes that run our own consensus. Okay. uh, Which is proof of stake, by the way. Um, And so, you know, it's, it's almost the same as Algorand, but, Instead of Algorand, everybody kind of uh, being able to bring their token online or everybody participating in this one, you have to actually run some software, right? Mm-hmm. So when you run that software, now your token comes online if we want to use the Algorand since the term. And so it's kind of both, really. We are using the same proof of stake as Algorand, uh, but we also have a validator and a, uh, as, as other chains. And so delegate whether you delegate or whether you're running one for yourself it's technically the same thing um so i'll say yeah. a follow-up so that means these validators it that means they have to hold algo for the gore gas fee right they have to hold algos for the algorand transactions that they write and mm-hmm. they have to hold gora to be able to be selected into consensus for each round jt you yeah, got something yeah. yeah and you know i'm looking at the website now and i'm really curious 
what type of um what type of equipment like how could i run a node on just a general laptop or do i need anything like more specific uh, so what type of equipment do i need to run a node and looking at the website it's not uh too clear to me but how do i delegate my gora stake because uh that that's that does sound interesting actually yeah so uh you know one thing is if you want to test it out yeah yeah so it's called testnet-app.goracle.io slash validators and I just wrote it in the YouTube chat, by the way. Uh, Private so, the YouTube chat, yeah. The YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the YouTube chat. So um, basically, you can go in there, test getting some test scores and test out uh, delegating things to validators. And, and you know, you're probably looking at the main website, JT Oracle.io, right. but then there's the app website. Which yeah, you got to yeah, connect your wallet. Right. Yeah, I'm on the app right now. I've actually connected. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to the validators, yeah, let's pull it up. Section. Let's pull it up right now. Let's. Uh... Let's Dave, see. you said something? I was just saying, yeah, let's let's pull it up and let's yeah. have him, you know, walk us through. Yeah, so so this is yeah, and if you if you even uh so we're we're launching the uh validators today actually. So if okay. you if you go to the test net version, it might be easier to, to display it out. Uh, right now there's only no runners, which are uh they're not delegating. So you can see there if you click validators on the side there. Uh so this is where they would be. Right now, I think they're all getting set up today. So by tomorrow and the rest of the week, you're going to start to see these filled in. Yeah. Gotcha. But I clicked a link there in in our private chat. Uh, maybe if you open that one up. Sure. Gotcha. So as yeah. those add as those fill up, I'll be able to delegate to those validators. Exactly. Gotcha. And 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 one question while JT's bringing up the test site, I'll answer or I'll ask for Mr. Joker is how often are these payouts? So when when you're delegating your stake, or if you do have a computer that's robust enough, and, or you do have enough Gora that you can actually run your own, mm -hmm. how often are you receiving those payouts uh, in Gora? Yeah, so it's block by block, right? So mm. it's, it's block by block. Yeah, it's literally, and you can run it on a regular computer to be honest, because right now it's just the load is so light. It's only fetching, making network call, right? That's really gotcha. all the node is doing. So it's so light, you can you could run it on your phone laptop as long as you know you're able to stay online for the entire time. Um, and and really, because it's how much token you have is you're more likely to be selected. Yeah. It's proportional to how much token you have. So the more tokens you hold, the higher your share of the room is. And and I'm going to ask this as well, just because I am not a tech heavy person. Um, you know, I'm I'm just your guy who really loves blockchain stuff, but I don't understand all the you know running nodes and everything like that. I just got one node set up uh, on a B Link, which is a small little computer I have at my home, and I have a monitor hooked up to it, and it and it mines uh, Monero for me. Are you able to run multiple different types of nodes on one PC, or do you have to? Is it is it a thing where like if you're trying to run multiple nodes from multiple networks, they kind of you know it mixes up too much or, or can fight you, for the can same you, energy yeah right? yeah yeah it it's 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 pure proof of stake so it doesn't matter it might you may as well run one because it's directly tied to how many tokens you have so if you have 100 tokens across five machines or 100 token in one machine yeah it, you get the same rose ward the same result okay uh, and this is kind of Again, one of the geniuses of Silvio McCallie, a lot of our code is based on Algorand's consensus mechanism, is you know, there's no denial of service attacks or things like that, just because uh, you know, it's it's literally one token equals one vote. So you can keep it in a million machines or one machine, you just get the same exact vote. Mm -hmm. Nice. And and I do know this. I mean, heck, I, I know Fractal Labs was, uh, that's a game that's built on Algorand and they just put out a, they've been giving out Pepe uh, at, for active users. And it's pretty cool to see, you know, like you said, if you're getting these payouts every block, I mean, there are times where I'm playing Pepe and literally my parent, my para uh, wallet is getting notifications every two, three seconds of, of Pepe hitting my wallet just because it's it, every single block that's being solved on the Algorand blockchain. It's cool to see that. So I would definitely we, we give Silvio a shout out. Shout out to right. Studio. Yeah, I will definitely yeah, be looking into the node running just because that sounds really cool to be able to see the Gora rewards being come, you know, coming in that fast. Well, this is what I liked. Uh, side note on uh, Humble DeFi, I'd like to, to see them accrue every like block. Yeah. So I'm definitely a person that like if I could just check my phone and just see it going every few seconds, amazing. Yeah, JTDF. absolutely. And, and, 
Yeah, Go I ahead. was able to pull that up. I logged on to the testnet, and honestly, it's it's nice. I'd imagine this is what the uh, mainnet is going to look up once these uh, validators get added. But uh, this yeah. is really cool. You can see some familiar names. Of course, we've got Goracle in here, but we've got Algo Scout in here. We've got Node Stake. Uh, We're gonna have to get a next block one. Right, right. A couple, a couple yeah. familiar names, and it's not too bit difficult. You just click this button right here, and I can delegate my stake. So I'd imagine it's the same for for mainnet, correct? It's going to be identical, and JT, uh, another really cool thing is 90% of the validators, and, and they're all still coming on. If you saw the previous version, there was about 50 of them. Right. And 90% of them are from Cosmos and Ethereum. Uh, you see the top one there? Yeah, they understand it over there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, M-Stones, and, and they're, they're a Chainlink node operator, by the way. Um, there's also really? a zero one one node, which is, I think, on the second page. Um, zero one node is one of the biggest validators in the space. Um, mm. Yeah, you see them there. They're also chain. If you go to Chainlink's main yeah. twenty big names, zero one node and Instones are there. And nice. so we, you know, and also, um, you know, there's, you know, if you could talk about how many, a lot of the people who bought the Gora token in the pre-sale and the node sale, uh, ninety percent of them came from outside of our brand, right? Uh, That's a good. A lot of the people we were we were kind of onboarding never used algorand before uh and so you know people come to our community like how do you have twenty thousand people on discord or, or five six thousand people on telegram are they real right um and, and really these these people are technical individuals that came to our nodes and, and want to be early in the system and they didn't know about algorand but they were able to onboard very, very quickly uh so we're, we're extremely grateful to you know generate a ton of new wallets and a ton of new transactions uh from, from non algorithm and non algorithm institutions. Yeah, honestly, that's awesome. I can't wait to see a lot of them come online because I think I'm going to delegate my stake to maybe a handful right. of different uh, different nodes just to just to test it out. Maybe I'll uh, eventually run a node myself. But yeah, that's, that's really exciting. Absolutely. And, and all those validators you saw, they all have their own communities. So we get to be on all of their websites and get their people mm -hmm. in. Um, you have to, you know, Gore is an Al Algorand standard asset, so you have to learn how to opt in. You know, I think the opting in process was probably the hardest thing to, to for people to get used to. It's like, how do I get Gore opt in? What does that mean? Um, that was the biggest roadblock, I think, for onboarding people to Algorand. And I feel like that's not the craziest roadblock, so that's not uh, that's yeah. not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the good thing. Wow. Just watched a clip from episode 63 of The Next Block with Abdul Osman, the CEO and founder of Goracle. Let us know down in the comments below what you thought of the episode. If you enjoyed the episode and you want to catch the entire thing, check out the video description down below for a link to the entire interview. To support the podcast further, also check out the video description down below for our Algorand donation wallet. This wallet can accept Algo and other Algorand standard assets. And last but not least, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know down below who you want to see next on the podcast. That's all for today, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks.